So, uh, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and uh, calculate the uh, member forces in each one of these members in this uh, truss using method of the joint. And then later on, we're going to take the same truss and we're going to double check our work using Autodesk uh, Robot Structural Analysis. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue. When you have the truss like this, the first thing you do, uh, this truss, of course, we have... Uh, pin right here and roller right here and what I'm going to do I'm going to replace the pin with the uh, reaction force which is going to be basically in uh, y and x direction you're going to have a ax ay and ax and then here we're going to replace the roller with the reaction force which is basically a just a dy so one of the first thing i will do is uh, go ahead and calculate the external reaction which is this uh, ax and aoy and dy based on a given load which is about 30 kip at b and 15 kip at uh, uh, c when you have a truss in the whole system you can go ahead calculate the reaction forces using moment the three equation uh, summation moment, summation in F of Y, and summation F of X. Let's take a moment about point DY. And counterclockwise is positive. Now we're going to have stuff from this end working to the other end. I'm going to have AY multiplied by all this distance, which is a ver perpendicular distance to this force, and it's 45 uh, AY, and that's going to be... Uh, clockwise so it's going to be negative so it's going to be a y minus a y that because it's clockwise time 45 then there's nothing happen until we get to here which is a 30 kip and 30 kip is about 30 feet away from dy so it's going to, and that's going to be going the other way so it's going to be counterclockwise and therefore it's going to be a positive plus 30 time 30 and same thing with the 15 kips it's going to be going clockwise around d and it's 15 feet away 15 time 15 is equal to zero and if we calculate a y come out to uh, i have calculated already my a y comes out to 25 kip and uh, the AX, we couldn't take, AX cannot take a moment about this point because in the same line of action. So now I'm going to go ahead and do summation FOY to calculate the uh, DOY. I have AY which came out to 25 kips minus, then I have 30 and minus 15 those are going down direction and plus dy plus dy is equal to zero and dy comes out to uh, 20 kips summation fx is equal to zero and that is uh, nothing there so ax is equal to zero Now, we have calculated the external reaction. We're going to go ahead and one by one pick a joint and calculate the member force. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use joint A. And from there on, we move on to other uh, joint. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, if I have to take joint A right here. That's A. I got my vertical force AY right here, and that was 25 kip. And then I have uh, the AX, which is zero anyway. We know that. Then I have this member. We said the bottom of the truss always is in tension, but if it's tension, that means it's pulling away. So that's going to be right here, and that's going to be F of uh, AB. 
Then I got this member. Because this is going up, and I'm going to guess at it, that one's going to be compression. Because at one, every joint of the truss is rigid body. That means summation all force is going to be equal to zero. That means it's not going anywhere. We hope it's not going to go anywhere. So that's going to be like that. I'm going to put a direction coming to a compression, and that's going to be F of uh, uh, AF. However, remember this is 60 degree right here. The reason I say that because uh, this force here has a vertical component and has a horizontal component also. And we're going to go ahead and uh, when we go ahead joint by joint trying to solve this, we only have two equations. Summation f of x, summation f of y. So if I use summation f of y, I have one known, one unknown. I can do that. And if I do summation f of x, well, I have one unknown, two unknown. I cannot do that. Therefore, I got to go summation f of y first to calculate this force here. So I'm going to go ahead and summation f of y is equal to zero. Going up is positive. And what do I have? I got 220, I got 25 kip. Then in here, I got this one, the vertical component of this. Remember, if I want to close the gap, it's going to be cosine 60. If I want to go away from it, which is going to be the vertical, it's going to be sine 60. So it's going to be minus, this is direction down, minus F A F time sine 60. And that's it. There's nothing else. Equals zero. And from this calculation, I can say F A F comes out to... Uh, Uh, 28.9. Okay, yeah. 28.9 kip. And because we said that comes down is in compression. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write up here. This member here came out to 28.9 kip. 28.9 and it's in compression. Now I have that, I can go ahead and find the f of x, not a problem. So I'm going to come in back in here, I'm going to use the same equation here. Summation f of x is equal to zero. Okay, this marker is getting tired. And that's going to become, uh, that's zero, so we're not going to count about that, that's going to be zero plus and uh, this is going for opposite so it's going to be f a b and minus this one here which has come out to 28.97 28.97 now it's going to close the gap so it's going to be cosine 60 cosine 60 equal zero summation all, all the first comes out zero and i can say uh, f a b comes out to uh, from here, I think I have that, 14.4, and that's in tension, because it's uh, going away. So now I'm going to come up here, I'm going to write here, 14.4 in tension. We got this one, we got this one. Now, if we move go to B, we're not going to be able to solve it because there's too many unknown. We have to go to F first, but I'll show you in a minute. Let me just put uh, B here. I have in B, I got 30 kip coming down. And then I got this force, which is in tension. This one is in tension. So this is going to become uh, F of B, C. And this one is going to become F of uh, B, A, B, which we already know. F of A, B came out to 14.4. Then up here, I got, uh, I'm assuming that's going to be in a tension. I could be wrong. And that's going to be F of uh, F, B. Then I got this number coming down in this angle also. And let's say that's uh, also in uh, compression. 
just just guess at it. And that's going to be f of uh, b e. So if I do summation f of y, so I got one known, one unknown, two unknown. I can't do it because this thread here has both a vertical component and horizontal component. So now one unknown, two unknown, I can't do that. Summation f of x, one unknown, two unknown, I cannot do that. That's why I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to go f so I can figure this number out, then I can solve this one. Let me erase this right here. Actually, uh, when I go move over there. So I'm going to go ahead and point F right here. That's going to be F. I'm going to have this member, which with this member was in compression. That means it's coming into it. And that came out to 28.9. Then I got this member going away. We're assuming that's going to be in compression, so it's coming this way. So that's going to be F of FE. And then I have this member, and here we assume that was coming in a uh, tension. And that means it's going downward, so it's going to be in tension. So that's going to be F of uh, FB. Okay, so I can do uh, summation F of Y. I can do it either way. So I'm going to go ahead and go summation F of Y is equal to zero. Going up is positive. And uh, I'm going to have, uh, this is a 60 degree again. So the vertical component is going to be sine. It's going to be 28.9 sine 60. And then it's going to be minus F FB equals zero. And therefore FFB comes out to Twenty-five. If we are uh, twenty-five. And twenty-five kip, and we said that's going to be in tension. So this is twenty-five intention. While we're here, let's figure this one out anyway. So we have uh, summation f of x is equal to 0. Going to the right is positive. I have in this right here, I got this one, which is the uh, 28.9 cosine 60 and uh, minus f of f e equals zero so f of f e comes out to uh, 14.4 kip and that is in uh, compression so that's 14.4 i'm going to come up here and it was in compression I'm going to put down 14.4 compression. Now I got this information. I can come in here and I can do B. Come back in here and solve this one here because we already know what F of F B is. Instead of F of F B, I'm going to go ahead and write that it to become a 25 in tension. So that is a 25. And it's in tension the way we have it. I can go ahead and take a submission F of Y. I know this one. I know this one. The only unknown I have is this portion right here. And that's F of B E. So I'm going to come in and uh, go ahead and uh, say uh, summation for joint B. Summation F of Y is equal to zero. Going up is positive. Now I have minus 30 right there. And then I have uh, plus 25. And then I have this one, which is going to be negative, minus F of... Uh, 
BE and the uh, vertical component of this is going to be because this angle is 60 degree so it's going to be sine 60. Sine 60 is equal to 0. So if I were to continue this that become F of BE comes out to negative 577. What does it mean by negative? That means our direction was assumption was wrong. That means it should go the other way. So therefore I'm going to come ahead and fix this because that's a good thing that we did this. Now we know if you make a wrong assumption it's okay and when you do your calculation it's going to come out negative that means you have to go the other way. So we know it's going to be like this and because we found negative and therefore I'm going to say F of FB comes out to uh, fix the direction 5.77 in tension. Now that looks correct. That's why we got negative. And of course I already wrote down 5.77 in tension over there. So now we just go ahead and uh, calculate the rest of the, uh, um, the BC. It's going to be summation F of X is equal to 0. Going right is positive. And I'm going to have uh, uh, minus 14.4 then plus this which was 577 and that's going to be uh, cosine 60 and then plus uh, BC FBC equals 0 and FBC should come out to uh, uh, both negative and both sides to come out positive, the science comes out correctly, therefore our assumption is correct, and it's going to come out to 11 uh, point something, 11 uh, uh, point 11.5. 11.5, and we said it's going to be in tension. And therefore this one is 11.5 in tension. That's how you do it, you can finish the rest of it yourself, but this is basically a method of join how it's calculated. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take this and dump it into a, a Autodesk robot and figure that out. All right, now let's go ahead and do the same example using Autodesk uh, robot. Uh, once you open up your robot, you come into this uh, page and you can click New. And uh, from here, you have a, a lot of options. Let's go to, the, to a 2D structure right here, uh, 2D truss. And uh, once you do that, you open up to a new window. Again, you have this toolbar on top, and you have a shortcut toolbar on the right side here. And we're going to use this one on the right side. This one right here, which you, if you put your mouse over, you can see it says lib Library of Structure. Click on that, and this will come up. And we're going to look at our uh, uh, truss, see which one will fit our uh, design the best. Let me bring the truss back in here. Take a look at it, uh, and if we look at right this, this is our truss. Kind of make it bigger so we can see it, and we have this shape right here. Uh, best one to probably fit this one in the middle right here. We can see that diagonal bar going from the uh, left to a right. So I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to click OK. And once you do that, a new window open up. Let me bring around here. This, this is a new window. Make this a little bit bigger. And there's our truss right here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put our dimension into it. And again, to calculate this correctly, let me bring on back the PowerPoint right here. So we have a one, two, three section, or three field, or three bay. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here. It says number of field. I'm going to make that to a three right there type in three and then I'm going to go ahead up here the distance we had it was um, down the distance bottom L1 that's a 45 feet and the top is 15 so I'm going to go ahead and make this to a 45 feet and the L2 which was the top was 15 feet and the height remember for the height it was not given in the problem the problem this is they give you this for the problem so we have to calculate the height Luckily, we know that this is the angle 60 degree, and we know this is 15. So this is the right triangle right here, right there. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, this length is the same as the 
tangent 60 tan 50, which is 26 feet. So I'm going to come in here and type in 26 feet and click apply and click OK. Now you notice, um, let me bring this down, if you push down and wheel your mouse, and you can basically move this around wherever you want it. And you can see this is not doesn't look like our truss. Our truss don't have this member right here. Again, take a look at our truss again. You see our truss is a little bit different than this one. It's only one diagonal not member, not two of them. So we gotta get rid of this one here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this member here. It doesn't belong there. And while I'm clicking on it, it's highlighted. Right click and click delete it's gone and if you want to see this in a different uh, uh, shape come on down here at the bottom right there where it says the section shape click on that and there you can see actually you can go ahead and specify each material which we're not going to do that today but let's just go ahead with this and if we look at our truss again and we can see we have a roller on one side and pin on the other side so let's go ahead and put the reaction uh, put the support system in Right here on the right side, you see this one right here it says support, click on that, and this window opens up. You might have nothing here. If you don't have nothing here, it's okay, don't worry about it. Come up here right here, click new, and once you click new, a new window open up, it's right here, and in this new window it says, okay, how do you want it? If I want a pin, I'm just going to double check both of them, and that's like for a pin. And if I want a fixed, of course I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, fixed uh, up here. So let's go ahead and just go click add. I don't need to, but I have it here. I'm going to say uh, uh, pin, and I'm going to put pin right here, and that's how it's going to look like. Now I'm going to put a roller on this corner, and roller, if you don't have it here, it's okay. Click new, and when you click new, again, roller is, uh, come back here, roller is only one direction. It means you have a support in a vertical direction, so vertical direction in this program is Z. So I'm going to uncheck the e X and then I have this and I can call this uh, support 5 which just says a roller. Click add and close and we're going to go in here support 5 if I find it. It is right here and that's a roller so let's put it right here. And click right there and there's our roller. So we got roller there and we got pin there. Let's get out of here, close this one out. And the next thing we want to do, and if we look at our uh, um, problem, our problem has a uh, 15 kip and one joint and a 30 kip and the other one. So let's go ahead and put uh, 15 and 13, uh, 50, 15 and 30 kips in there. Come up here to the right, and you can see this right here. It says load type. Click on load type, and you have dead load one. Click add. That is for the dead load of the material itself. I'm going to click add one more time and that's a dead load too that's the one we're going to go ahead and put on so click ok close out of here and make sure up here it says dead load too and now when we're here we're going to come in and uh, back down here it says load definition click on that one and we're going to put our load in in here we're going to have node we're going to go for the node one we're going to click on node and this window opens up. In this window, our load was here 30. So 30 was in Z direction and it's negative. So we're going to type in minus 30 because this is a kip right here. See that? It says kip. So it's minus 30. I'm going to click add and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. You're not going to see it, but we can show, see it later on. So I'll click apply. So I'm going to go ahead and click this again one more time and make it minus 15 minus 15 and click add and I'm going to put my cursor right here and click it and apply so now I'm going to come on down here I want to see uh, make sure they are here I'm going to click on the section shape and there's my load right there and I want to see it so I'm going to click on one two three down here and there it is fz minus 30 fz minus 15 so we basically done we finished it and now we're going to give it to the computer and have the computer to solve it for us. And if you click away, the things go away, it's okay. All you have to do is click on here, they come back. So don't worry about it. So now once you have this, come up here, let the computer calculate it, hit the calculation button, 
and it's going to go through it and it says okay i'm going to give you error because you took this number out that's okay that's how the problem was so now we, it's all solved come up here in the ribbon that says result click on result and come down it says diagram for bars click on that one and you have this window open up and if you move your cursor you can see the tab right here it opens up and let's go find a reaction first i'm going to bring it down click on reaction and when i'm here i want to know reaction both check fx and fz and then i'm going to uh, check description and i'm going to hit normalize and what it does is give you the reaction just same like where we solved on the board 20 kips on this way 25 kips on this side if you want to don't want to see this you just click uh, normal and check these would they go away uh, but i'm going to keep it on for now well let's have to be on check it all right there they go uh, so now we're going to come back here go on ntm and click on ffx that we want to know what the member force on each member is and uh, normalize we're not going to see the number i want to see the numbers so i'm going to come back in here go to uh, uh, parameter click on that and here you can label them and uh, click apply and you see all the label right there you can have it as a field too if you click this one and click apply it shows up like that but i don't like it like that it's, it's, it's your your uh, call so now i'm going to go ahead and check what we had we had minus 14.42 that's the same thing we had 28.9 uh, uh, exactly we've got the same exact number that we calculated with the hand method and we did the computer computers are awesome and they give you a red mark like here said so this number is kind of a little bit uh, has too much force in it pay attention to it maybe you can uh, s s make a bigger size or or reduce the load anyway that's how it's done